Auditor, thank you very much for being here today. Did Canadian taxpayers get value for money from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government on the $60 million Arrive Can app? So we concluded that um, the public service did not ensure that Canada received best value for money. I would tell you that we paid too much for this application. You described it uh, as um, the Trudeau government having, quote, glaring disregard for management practices, end quote, and poor record keeping, a lack of basic due diligence, and that you were, quote, unable to determine the precise cost of the Arrive Can app, end quote. So $60 million is an estimate. Is that correct? Um, yes, we estimated that it would uh, it cost around $59.5 million. There could be amounts there that should not be linked to ArriveCan, but there also could be amounts that are, that are linked to ArriveCan that were not flagged in the books um, and linked to that project. So, it, so it's reasonable to say that it, it could be more than $60 million? It's reasonable to say that we've put together the best estimate, but it took a lot of effort. We had to go through um, many journal entries all the way back down to uh, task authorizations to see whether or not items were linked to a RiveCan. Professional judgment right. was needed. Yes. Right. And, and just to, to quote um, the key facts from your report, it says, quote, this made it impossible to accurately attribute costs to projects, end quote, with respect to the, um, to the poor record keeping. You've been investigating billions of dollars in government spending uh, over your tenure as Auditor General. Would you say that the Trudeau government's Arrive Can is the worst that you've seen? So I looked at a lot of contracting that happened uh, during, during the pandemic when the public service was act to act quickly um, and um, you know, serve the public. Uh, this would probably be the, the first example that I've seen where there is such a glaring disregard for some of the most basic and fundamental policies and rules and controls.